All right, custom reporting. Um, we are going to talk today about how in a fleet we can really report on any telemetry you would like to. Uh, the example that we're going to dig into is um, checking to see if a device is uh, checked in within the past week, running an operating system older than 13.4 on the Mac OS side, and has a Git version deployed from uh, Homebrew that's less than version 1.5. Uh, that's just one example, but uh, we can go through a bunch of different examples to show some of the power that OS query reporting brings to you. Uh, let's kick it off. All right, so let's hop into Fleet. Uh, we'll start actually, instead of in policies, we'll start in the queries section. And queries are really the, the gateway to starting to ask questions of your fleet. So you can see I've got a bunch of different queries that, um, that are available. Uh, we have a standard queries pack that you can load, uh, I believe with 45 or 49 queries at 49. Uh, but we also have um, CIS benchmark queries to ask questions of your fleet. So I'll switch to that team and show you that. Um, actually, their policies, sorry, policies we'll get into a, a bit later, but we load the full list of CIS, CIS benchmarks for you um, and queries. Uh, essentially are asked the question of your fleet um, with SQLite. So one example here I'll show all teams is to is to get the um, get the git homebrew version across the fleet. And so this is one way you can do it. We also have um, insight into the software uh, side of things. So we'll we'll show that way second, but first let's just go out of um, a full custom way to get this by, uh, well, I already created the query, so I'll just search for it. All right, so this is my query that I built previously. Um, it's a select statement from OS version. So the reason why I'm doing that is to, is to get the operating system version from uh, my, my devices. And I'm using just this uh, alias here, OSV, just to make it a little bit uh, easier to write the query and the fields. I'm also using the table homebrew packages. Uh, homebrew packages just gives us all the packages loaded um, via, via homebrew. And I'm just aliasing that to HBP. And then I'm adding some filtering clauses. In this case, it's just the major version is 13 and the minor version is uh, less than four. So I want to know anything that's less than 13.4. Um, and I don't want to obviously run this on Windows devices. I'm going to get the homebrew package uh, Git. And we use um, some wildcards here to just get anything uh, that's Git related with a version less than 1.5. Now I've previously run this query and I know that there's no devices in our environment that meet that criteria. So I'm just gonna, for, for the sake of showing some result here, I'm just gonna put um, a super high version that doesn't exist. So I know that something will be in there. And um, also I know that we're patched way above 13.4. So we'll just go uh, minor version is 13.4 um, and then go ahead and run this. And so we have two concepts here, the live query, you can think of that as like an active investigation or active reporting on your fleet. You can also set this to um, collect telemetry on a schedule. So if you wanted to run this every, every day uh, for a query like this, that might be a good um, time span or good frequency. I'm not going to uh, uh, schedule it. If I were to schedule it, the data would be available in the console for devices that are offline. It would also be available uh, in a logging pipeline. So you could send this information out uh, into an S3 bucket and consume the results of the query uh, in JSON format, however you see fit. So let's go ahead and run the, run the query just to show you the result. And I'm going to do this across my Mac fleet. Um, and so here you'll see the results. Obviously, there's a bunch of devices that fit this criteria. It gives us the path of Git as well as the version installed. Um, so that is that is one way that you can get that data. Um, the other way is, is, of course, to consume it via uh, logging pipeline. Um, that's another way to do it. And the last way to do it is via software, since this is a piece of software that you're interested in. Just to do a quick search for Git here. And you can see that um, 
that any package via Git is, is discovered. And also we're showing all the versions of Git as separate line items. So you can see the breakdown of all of the versions within your, your infrastructure. If I wanted to dig in a little bit deeper, I could see, okay, well, there's three of the hosts. I could view all the hosts and then I could export that data, um, out to CSV and I can use that, um, in whatever, uh, tooling to consume uh, data and, and visualize that data. Um, another way that you can get further information on the software tab is uh, to do that search here again, and I could dig deeper into those devices. Um, so in this particular case, I'll filter this again, and maybe I'm interested in version 2.37. I could see vulnerabilities associated with that particular version, and there's none. Maybe I'll pick an older one. <clears throat> yeah, 2.13. Uh, again, no vulnerabilities. Actually, you know what? I'll do a top-level filter for any vulnerable software. So I can see that there are some vulnerabilities that are deployed as dev packages. Um, and I could drill into those vulnerabilities and see, okay, well, there's a CVE, uh, you know, got EPSS score, got severity, and any known exploit. So that data is super helpful in terms of troubleshooting further, uh, reporting on, on your software versions. Um, we can also actually take this data out into a vulnerability dashboard. So the way that this works is it's an API layer on top of the, the fleet API, or sorry, a visualization layer on top of the fleet API that's capturing this. Uh, so we can filter, we can, we've got some nice, um, nice transparency hovers. We can say, okay, well, just, just tell me any critical vulnerabilities and I can get that updated visualization here. Um, and also I can dig into the exact, actually, whoops, I should probably authenticate there. Let me just authenticate. And I can actually get a CVE first view of, um, of any vulnerabilities hitting my entire fleet. Uh, so I, if there's any exploits happening, uh, I can search that out pretty easily. I could take this information and go back into fleet. So if I wanted to look at the specific hosts, I could go ahead and do that. Um, drill back into the host directly back into fleet for further investigation on the software side of things, or maybe we want to ensure that disk encryption is on. So it's a back and forth communication between this dashboard and fleet. Uh, and the data is also super uh, transportable. You could export this, um, have different categories for exporting and filtering this data out according to, you know, whatever you, you'd like. Um, so that's one example of taking the data out of fleet and uh, from a reporting perspective and visualizing it. Now I understand that the vulnerability report isn't really kind of an IT specific report, but we'd be glad to work with you to build something similar to this in more of an IT focused, um, focused manner. Uh, other possibilities here are to take this data from an API perspective and, and have your own dashboard customized or maybe even build uh, a monkey report uh, module that could consume the data from our API. That's also in, within the realm of uh, possibility. So totally possible to get all that data, uh, really any data that you want with Fleet um, and, uh, and drill into that in any way you want. And so thanks, for, thanks very much for watching.